My name's uh, Q Beck or Russell Meehan. Um, I'm a street artist from Manchester. Uh, I live in Old Trafford. Um, and generally I paint all the time, every day of the week. I paint a lot of commercial commissions for clients. Um, and also I paint my own artwork wherever I can, whenever I can basically. Just uh, try to stay as creative as possible and uh, work with as many different people on as many different projects as possible. I got involved with OT Creative Space on the Arts Trail through knowing Linda to Sterling, um, being a local artist, um, I've already done a few murals around here, so that's how she got to know me, basically. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I think she asked me just because she knows I, I already paint murals, and um, yeah, she wanted to get me involved on the project. I only live at the end of this road where I'm painting the mural, so it's a really nice thing to be part of, basically. Uh, it's great to, uh, to be painting another piece of uh, old, uh, another piece of art for Old Trafford. The design that I'm painting came about through the uh, the community engagement that we were, that, that we've done, or that Linda's done, sorry, with uh, with the people around here. Um, we got quite a few designs sent in to us, uh, and I've basically taken one of the designs, one of the ones I thought would suit my style best, um, and I've just accentuated it. I've, I've added more to it, but I'm using their their kind of um, their you know, the building blocks that they gave me, basically. I'm looking at the history that they've put in there. I'm looking at the strawberry fields uh, with the strawberries that they've put in there. Um, and I'm just kind of like building some more stuff around it. Some of the stuff that I normally put into some of my paintings. Um, the local community has reacted really well to this, yeah, I mean, it's kind of obvious. Um, I painted something that, that's quite obvious that everyone likes to see, basically. So, um, yeah, we've had loads of people stop and chat. It's been really nice to, to, uh, to kind of engage with people a little bit more and, and you know, meet more people from, from the place that I live, basically. Um, but, yeah, generally, like, there's, nobody said, any, said a bad word about it. Everyone's buzzing off it, basically. It's just it's been really nice. People are stopping in their cars, you know, saying it looks great and whatever else so it's uh, it's nice to see I'd like the piece to inspire people inspire the kids especially um, maybe hopefully get people involved in more creative activities I know Linda at OT creative who's organized all this you know she runs workshops she's got a gallery she's got a shop down the corner around the corner um, so I, I think it'd be great you know that if this was a bit of a catalyst for people to, to be more involved in, in community art-based activities basically um, I think we need that more than ever now especially coming out of lockdown uh, I think people will you know maybe some people might not do so much creative stuff so I think this is quite a nice it's almost like an advert for you know what Linda does at OT creative so yeah I'm hoping that it's going to spur people on to, to maybe be a bit more creative uh, I'm hoping that it's it's going to brighten the area up for people. It's going to make it more interesting for people to live in and just give people something a little bit, you know, something to, to, to look at and to, and to kind of immerse themselves in, basically. As I said, this, this piece is about the history of the area. It's got elements of that in there. So maybe some people can learn a little bit more about the area as well. Learn, and that, that might spur them on to, to try to find, find out more about the area that they live. If anyone needs advice to get into this kind of art form or large-scale paint or street art in general like, I, like for me like I, I used to do it like well I do do it for the love I've always done it for the love I, I never started it you know to do it to, to make money so I just say just just do it and try try and you know keep it raw like that keep, keep the love alive for it and yeah you know I'd probably advise people to, to try and find somewhere or, or create an area where they can paint on a large scale like I do um, either at your home or a, a local street art kind of commission wall or ask ask people you know if, if, if people have got areas that could be you know do with a mural or a piece of artwork ask property owners um, grab some spray paints go on YouTube you know ask, ask maybe find find out if you know anyone that knows anything about it just try and get as much information as you can and just practice and practice and practice and just keep going uh, as I said I think you've really got to you know you've got to have a love for, for the art form to, to carry on with it and, and to get to where I am you know which is getting paid for it making it into a profession um, so yeah generally just try and find some places and, and, and do it as much as you can basically um, yeah just just keep going and don't give up really you know like I, I god i'm still not that good at painting i'm always learning i'm 39 you know so you you you, you can't think that you you're not going to get good you've just got to keep going until until you you get to the point where you where you know that you are basically <laughs>
Thank you.